Last month, Autodesk invited me over to their gallery in San Francisco to check out some of the projects that are pushing the boundaries, uh, not just in design and architecture, but in different fields. I'm not gonna lie, like some of these projects really got me excited and hopeful about the future. Throughout the exhibition, you're going to see some cool interactive installations and role-playing games that's going to let you experience the different parties involved in the city planning process, and you can play with other people in real time. So there were quite a few projects using generative design technology, which is where you can set up the parameters like constraints, material properties, or even manufacturing processes, and you can use the software to optimize the 3D model. The projects here weren't architecture projects, but they had some in aerospace and in the automobile sectors. And using the aid of AI, they were able to seriously reduce the mass of these machines. It's interesting that in both cases, it's generated a very organic shape, which is why at first I was pretty skeptical about the application of generative design into architecture because architecture is an industry that's very tied to the materials and labor that's already available, which is also why most buildings look the way they do. But I learned from the Autodesk team that you can actually set the constraints to only use traditional construction methods. And they've actually worked with clients to design buildings that still look very traditional from the outside, but they use generative design to really reduce the mass of the building components. The area that got me really excited was how it could be used in the earlier design processes. Generative design can help you design the perfect floor plan, which is actually how they've designed their offices in Toronto, or the size or the placement of the windows or houses or entire neighborhoods to optimize for things like natural daylighting or ventilation or access. I'm sure you've heard the stats, Buildings produce 40% of the world's global emissions. And at this rate, we need to be not only designing better, smarter, and more sustainable buildings, but we also need to be drastically improving the process in building these buildings. If you want to learn more about the software that I mentioned in this video, check out the Autodesk website. And if you're in the Bay Area, I would highly, highly, highly encourage you to visit the gallery for yourself when they open.